and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Last episode, we had to come back here and we found out that Zelda left us some pictures on our little thing. Not these pictures. These pictures. But I'm not exactly sure where any of these are, so I think we'll just kind of go exploring today. That horse seems pretty obvious. I wonder where that is. Anyways, this guy seems like he needs some help. Hmm, are you... Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow people with some kind of mysterious power. I've been researching it for ages and I finally have a lead. There's a place that is beyond suspicious. Problem is, I can't seem to find the fountain there. Ah, <sighs> nothing beats the thrill of tracking down a perfect view. As a fellow traveler, you understand the sentiment, right? Yes. Oh, I knew it! I just knew there was someone like me nearby who appreciates true beauty. Sadly, I can't pin down the exact location of the Great Fairy Fountain. I haven't put it all together yet, but there's a mysterious place. No, there's a suspicious place I have my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Actually, that sounds wonderful. Great answer. Just what I expected from a fellow beauty connoisseur like you. Alright then, follow me. That makes things a little bit easier. I knew there was a fairy fountain we needed to find around here, but I wasn't sure where. But it looks like this guy is just going to take us right to it. So, thank you, Pekango. Yeah! I also need to go and find my horse. I think today I kind of just want to explore though, so we'll start off by finding the fountain, then we'll head over to the stables, pick up our horse, and see what else we can find. Pekengo's kind of slow though. I think I'm just going to skip ahead until we get up to the fountain. I think Pekengo's tired. Anyways, we just came right past this shrine here. What do you have to say? So tired. Hills aren't easy for old foggies like me. Sorry, but I don't think I can go on. Huh. <sighs> the great fairy fountain should be along the path that leads past the shrine. Huh. <sighs> That's what I've been told anyway. Yeesh, I'm completely out of breath. That always happens right about here. Ugh, I think I better rest for a bit. You go on ahead. And hey, if you find it, don't forget to get a picture. Really? You could have just said the path that leads beyond the shrine and I would have just been able to find it, but apparently not. Um, there's a path up and there's a path down. Let's start up first. Actually, wait, nope. I see something suspicious. There's a rabbit! Oh my god, chase the rabbit! Where'd the rabbit go? Hmm. I'm not sure if I was supposed to chase the rabbit. Ooh! There's something new. Nightshade. Gotta get a picture first. Alright, I'll take that. Well, this definitely looks like a fairy fountain. Seeing as there are fairies around here, I think I'm scaring them all away. Is there a zoom feature? There is. Alright, we got a picture of a fairy! I think that's enough pictures and stuff for now. Let's actually get on with the quest, shall we? Examine. Boy? Sweet boy? Please, listen to my story. I am the great fairy Cortera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred rupees. Okay. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now if you have rupees, hand them over. In order for me to regain my power, I need a hundred rupees. What's this? You don't have enough rupees? How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. Ugh. <sighs> So, looks like we need to go and get money, because apparently these fairies are expensive con artists. Anyways, maybe we can run back to this guy and say, hey, the fairy needs money. 
so can you give me some money? But he's probably gonna be like, no, you're trying to trick me and just steal my rupees. My desire to view beautiful landscapes is stronger than anyone else's ever, I'm pretty sure. But my body just can't handle the groundwork. Even now my knees are trembling. Uh, I don't care about your knees. I want money. Alright, I'm gonna run back. See if I can sell some things. Get enough money. And then we can do the whole fairy fountain thingy quest. Well, while I was selling a bunch of stuff, I noticed this guy has a quest. So let's talk to him too. Sir. Sir Link. My cuckoos. My precious cuckoos. They haven't come home yet. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support. Oh, what do I do? Ah. Okay, I'll go find them for you. Really? Thank you so much. I have ten cuckoos total. total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Uh, I am sorry? This, this is a very sad story, I guess. Any cuckoos? Hey, there's a cuckoo. Can I run with these? Of course not. Alright, well I guess we gotta go look for cuckoos. My precious cuckoos. Oh. <laughs> Sadly, only three have returned to me. Okay. So he has three in there. And if this cuckoo will just get in the coop. Can I just... There we go. So terrifying. <laughs> what? Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to grab this guy's cuckoo. Those plum trees, I've been raising them my whole life. They're grown, they've grown as I've grown, they're a part of me. When these trees eventually rot and fall away, so will I. You seem to be going a little bit faster than trees, just saying. That's why I painstakingly raised them with all the love I can muster. So as long as I'm around, there's no way I'll let you mess with my plum garden. I don't have time for this. Here's a cuckoo. There you go. You have five now? At least you should have five. Mm. I should have ten. Five have returned. Okay. I know where s number six is. So we only have four more to find. It's not too difficult. Any cuckoos up here? Let's, we'll take a look for cuckoos as we're heading back up to the fairy fountain. Oh, here's another one. So there's only two left to find. I'm assuming there's going to be one on a roof somewhere. Oh, hey, look. There's one on a roof somewhere. Alright, well, we might as well grab this one. That will leave just one missing. Alright. Come to me, little cuckoo. Do you think I can get it in from up here? Almost. Hey, it did go in there. Ooh, did she leave? Did she walk away? Ooh, come here. That was a glitchy lizard. What's this sign say? Melly's Plum Garden. No trespassing. I don't see Melly anywhere. It's not like we're gonna hurt the garden or anything. I mean, what crazy person would do that. You'd have to be completely evil to do this to someone's beautiful, precious plum garden. Oh! Oopsie. That's what she gets for not letting me go into her plum garden. Hey, look, there's a cuckoo. I should have ten. Only nine have returned. So there is one more missing. Poor dude. All he wants is his little cuckoos. So I was about to give up and head over to the shrine, but I think I found the last cuckoo. All the way up here by the shrine. Well, yeah, I guess he's close to where the shrine is at. Alright. There you go. 
Uh, is he inside? Hello. I know it's late and you're probably sleeping, but I'm sure you'd be happy to figure out that your cuckoos are alive, but you're not even in here. Oh, wow. He must really like cuckoos. Okay, maybe the guy's a little cuckoo himself. Anyways, I have no idea where he's at. Maybe... Uh, he's out this way. Yeah, let's go get this quest finished off. Oh, I guess he has to guard the house, even though his poor cuckoos are so far away. Uh, but more importantly... Link, I can hear the sound of a cuckoo flapping its little wings. Could it be? Yep, I found him. I... I knew it! The faint yet lovely flapping of wings. That musical clucking. Ah, truly the optimum of joy. I'm so eager to get back home. Oh, Link, I'm so happy everyone is safe. Thank you so much. I'm afraid this isn't much, but please take it with my thanks. Hey! Good, that's about half of what I needed for the fountain. I'm ready to get out there again. Though I do wish my wife would come back to me, just like my cuckoos did. Yep, I'm... yeah. Good luck with that. Bye, dude. I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> All right, now we can finally run up to the fairy fountain and give her the hundred rupees. Thankfully, because of that cuckoo quest, we didn't have, it's not gonna be too big of a punch to our wallet. All right, ooh, look at the castle. We should go over exploring that way later. I think we have time after all that cuckoo nonsense. All right, hello, sir. We have almost completed your quest. We just need to get over to this beautiful fountain. Wait. Nope, I didn't get a picture of it. It ran away. I was hoping I could get a picture of the little guy. Hello, fairy! Ah, you've returned! Now, you have my rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need a hundred rupees. There you go. Thief. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I could do, but I will need the necessary materials. With mm. the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away! Which clothing item would you like me to enhance? Alright, so we have the tunic that we have items for, or the hood. Uh, tunic's probably going to be more protection. Well, it's the same number of protection, but the tunic covers more. Ah. Yes, please. Mm. Alright, let me do my thing. Ah. Yay! We enhanced our tunic. All finished. Just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. I thought I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Please come back here once you get some clothes or materials, or once you've restored the power of my sisters. See you later! Goodbye! <laughs> There we go, we finally did it. Now, we have to get a nice good picture of this beautiful fountain. Uh, great fairy fountain. Let's kind of get it, I want to get it all in one shot here. Ooh, this hill right here, this looks like a perfect spot for a nice picture. Perfect! 
Alright, let's go show this guy his beautiful fountain that he wanted to see so much. So, I think... I didn't get turned around, right? Yeah, we're good. Kakariko Village! Hello, sir! Someday I hope I can see that place spoken of in whispers, veiled by the mystery, the great fairy fountain. Oh, I found it. Ah, uh, you... you found it? Really? Are you serious right now? And if you are, then where's the picture? You remembered to bring the picture, right? Yep, here you go. Isn't it beautiful? This is the Great Fairy Fountain? It's certainly beautiful, but I thought it would be more sacred and elegant. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. Oh. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Oh, is this guy going to help us with our memories? A large gate with a snowy mountain beyond it. Oh, I know that place. There's a big mountain east of this village. It's called it's called Mount Laniru. Laniru? I can't pronounce that. At the base of Mount Laniru, on the west side of Niagara Snowfield, lies that gate. I'm almost certain. So at the base of the mountain, on the west side of the snowfield. Remember that, because I'm going to forget. I'm glad I knew about the lo that location. I suppose my youth er, la la la. I suppose my help was useful then. Yes, very useful. And it just goes to show that if you build something up too much in your own mind, you're just building yourself up for disappointment. But anyways, let's see. He said west of here there was a mountain somewhere in this area i'm guessing yeah let's head out into this area see if we can find the tower maybe that sounds good all right i think we got a little bit of time for some traveling so let's go oh right i was gonna grab my horse oh this probably wasn't the best place to just jump off of huh oh well i'm sure we'll make it hey there's a shrine if anything, we'll make it to that shrine and then we'll be able to... Ah, I think I see the tower. Yeah, then we'll have a nice quick travel point. So let's... I want to go up there first. See what that's all about. To the shrine. Off to the tower. Seems like a nice little path to go. We have this weird building. Is there anything interesting around here? Other than the fact that it's a weird burned down building with lots of these guys? Looks like these guys just climbed up and completely destroyed it or something. Huh. This certainly is strange. What's over there? Oh, there's a boar. Alright, next up. Unlocking the shrine. Before I get too distracted once again. Huh, this is an interesting area. And I'm a little nervous flying over top of it. I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh! Well, there's some weird guys right there, and there's some weird guys by the shrine. Well, we did find the shrine at least. Let's see if we can activate it real quick. Before these guys notice me. Examine the shrine! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! We got a nice spear pointing right at us. It's like we're looking through the eyes of, what are these, lizard bros, I think? That's lovely. Okay. Bye now. Oh, they're fast! I don't need to do the shrine. Let's just get to that tower, shall we? This is where it would be nice to have my horse. I completely forgot to go pick up my horse. Where did I leave him? What's that? Frogs! I take a picture, but I I think I'm still being followed, so Ooh. What the heck is A water buffalo? I Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's cool. I don't think I've ever even been here. I have played the game Oh! Oh! A little bit before. But I've never been in this area. Oh, okay. <laughs> that hurt. 
think that's a good place to end it. We'll go and find the tower in the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!